If you've ever thought about selling on Etsy, then don't go anywhere because this video is for you. I'm gonna show you what products you should be selling on Etsy and how to get them noticed. So before we get started, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can get content on the custom apparel business. So before we hop in, I just wanted to know who here is watching and has an Etsy account. And if you do, let us know what you sell on it. So I always urge people to come up with a plan to make sure that what they're selling on Etsy to begin with is good for Etsy search engines. So tip number one is to do your research and see what is best selling and hot on Etsy. Luckily, I've already done some of the research for you, so I'm gonna tell you what are some hot items to sell and hot markets to tap into on Etsy and how they relate to the personalized apparel business. Some of the best selling items on Etsy's are things like personalized accessories, bags, goodies, even handmade jewelry. That's a huge one on Etsy. And luckily for people who are apparel decorators, if you have an embroidery machine, you can even make some embroidered earrings. <laughs> So a really great market to tap into on Etsy is the wedding market. So how does this relate to personalized apparel? Well, you can create custom embroidered uh, robes. You can create embroidered satin PJ sets perhaps, and you can even create hats for bachelorette parties, uh, custom printed t-shirts. There is so much uh, that you can do to capitalize on wedding season. So for example, if you're an embroiderer, all you have to do is log on to Etsy and type into the search bar to see what is coming up. You can type something like wedding embroidery or wedding embroidered robes or bridal robes, anything like that, and then see what is popping up towards the top. Those are usually the best selling items. So what you can do is kind of check out how they're positioning their photos and everything else and try to replicate their success. So something else that is hot on Etsy is handmade jewelry. And I've actually myself have bought some handmade jewelry on Etsy, which gave me the idea to create my own on an embroidery machine. So I went ahead, I did that and I added a tassel to it. And if you guys wanna see how it came out, you're more than welcome to check out the video that I will link. Something else that's huge on Etsy are accessories, and I know I already touched on that with the handmade jewelry, but you can also expand into different accessories like ribbons, bags, totes, all of those have been proven to work very well on Etsy. So for all of these categories, like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna see what's working, all you have to do is go onto Etsy, type into the search bar, um, type in personalized shoes, personalized bags, custom shoes, words like that, so that you can see what pops up and what's working well. One more time, you just got me feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance for free. One more time, okay, sorry. Tip number two is that visuals are everything. You must be able to make your photos aesthetically pleasing. And it's actually not as hard as you think it is. So like I mentioned before, when you see some of the winners on Etsy, a lot of them have their photos nicely organized. So in order to have a nice photo, you need two things. You need good lighting and good photo composition. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna start talking about photo and the videographer is getting really upset. <laughs> One, because I called him videographer and two, because photo is his field. So everything I'm saying, he's like, wait, you can say it better if you do this. So disclaimer. So first of all, I know this might sound like common sense, but we've seen it done far too many times, so we're gonna say it again. <laughs> Make sure that you're not taking your photos on a table or on your bed, anywhere that doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. What you wanna do instead, without having to spend too much money on props or anything, is let's say, for example, you have a sun hat, an embroidered sun hat that you're trying to sell on Etsy. What you can do is take some of your items to the beach and take photos of there so you have a nice background to work with. So find a setting that works really well for the type of item that you're selling so you can start to paint a picture for the customer and they can visualize themselves using your product. Doing this simple thing will make your item stand out from anyone else that's just taking a picture in some boring lighting at their home. However, I do understand that sometimes there's not enough time to travel to a location to take photos. So what I do recommend is to just invest in some tiny props that can, you know, really bring out your photo. You can go on Amazon and purchase, you know, props like little eucalyptus plants, little flowers to just kind of dress up your photo and then make your product the center of the attention. This brings me to my next point, which is photo composition. So now in order to make sure that your photo is composed nicely, uh, you wanna make sure that if your item is flat, then you can do a flat lay. So what I mean by flat lay is, um, have you guys ever like scrolled through Instagram or Facebook and seen um, a photo taken above where the product is in the middle and then it has some nice little props surrounding it? That is called a flat lay. 
So if you have a flat product, like a custom t-shirt, then you can go ahead and place that smack in the middle, make sure that your custom t-shirt is your focal point, and then you sprinkle some little nice little props around it that you get on Amazon, like I mentioned earlier. So something else that you can do is that you can actually take the item if it's wearable and have somebody model it. Do keep in mind that if you're going this route, that you have to make sure that the photo is very well lit. Um, so a tip that the lovely videographer gave me is that if you decide to go, <laughs> So for instance, um, if you're gonna shoot outside, you can, however, just make sure that you're shooting in the morning or in the afternoon so that there's no harsh lighting. Also, when you're shooting with a model, make sure that the camera is not above or below the subject, that it is at eye level so that you can get the nice background showing and you're not getting any of the sky or the ground. <laughs> Tip number three is to maintain good rapport with your customers. And I know this might sound like common sense, but I actually have some good actionable tips to share with you guys. So why is this important? It's because the engine behind any business is your customers. And we all know that happy customers return and refer. So one thing that you can do is that you can offer promo codes or referral credits for existing customers. So let's say a customer orders from you. Here's what you can do. One, you can uh, make it personal by putting in a nice little handwritten letter, or you can put like a little package insert, which is like a flyer, where you tell them that if they refer someone, you'll give them like a promo code or a referral credit. That way uh, they will be incentivized to tell their friends about it and they'll also be incentivized to buy again. So this is a very important one because people who have already trusted you with their money, um, if you have delivered a good product, they are very likely to purchase from you again. Something else that you can do that I briefly mentioned before uh, when I said that you can write like a handwritten thank you note or something like that is that you can check in after the sale. So you can give your customer a call or an email and say, hey, how are you liking your items? Uh, people buy on Etsy because they love the personalized feel. So you doing that is just gonna show that you really care about your customers. But while this all may be easy to do after you've secured the sale, the real question is how do you get them to trust you before the sale? So we all know that there are thousands of buyers on Etsy looking for the perfect seller that sells the perfect item for them. But you need to be willing to do the work that other sellers are not doing. So some of the things that you should be doing is maintaining an open line of communication with your customers at all times. So something else is that to make sure that you're always publicly addressing anything that your customers may be writing to you. So let's say for instance that a customer is writing to you publicly and you want to answer their question. So naturally what you do is you just message them. But what I'm actually suggesting to do is to message them back publicly saying, hi, thanks for your comment. I'll be in contact with you very soon. Just so that other customers can see that you're responding. One more time. But literally I'm doing it one more time. You get it? Yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah. Okay. One more. One more time. Okay. So once you have already cultivated that positive experience for your customer, then it's time to ask them for a review. And you can actually incentivize the review by giving them a free product or um, offering them a nice discount. And um, that just helps, you know, build up your social proof and it also helps your Etsy page rank. Uh, why? Because the more reviews you have, uh, the higher Etsy ranks you, which means that when people are searching for your keywords, uh, they will find you a lot easier. My fourth tip is uh, very important and that is to spend time crafting your descriptions and your tags. So let's start off with the description. Now, a good description does a lot more than just telling what the product is and how it works. You have to make sure that you are answering the questions that your customer has about your product in the description. Otherwise, you risk them bouncing off your page. So when it comes to the custom apparel industry, here are some of the things that you definitely want to include. Number one, you want to tell them if their product is customizable or not. So basically, um, is it the design that they're seeing there or can they put their own message into it? You also want to tell them what their product is made of, uh, if it can be gift wrapped and how long it'll take to produce and ship. You also want to make sure that you are clear on the dimension of the products and you also want to clearly state uh, your return and exchange policy. You also want to make sure that you're using keywords and tags that not only relate to your product, but that make your product reachable when you're being searched on Etsy. So how do you come up with your title and your keyword for your title? Uh, one way that you can do it is actually by cross-referencing on uh, Pinterest. So what you can do is type in something similar. Let's say you are embroidering uh, a cap and you have a custom cap. You can just put custom embroidered cap on um, Pinterest and see what keywords are uh, coming up just so you can have a little bit more keywords to play with rather than just your Etsy one. And don't forget tags. Uh, tags on Etsy are just short phrases to describe your product. So let's say that you are selling an embroidered wallet. Uh, 
you would want to put tags like wallet embroidery and uh, embroidered wallet. So while this seems almost like common sense, uh, these are the essential tags that you need to have in there. However, try to think outside the box. Sometimes your customers don't even know that they're looking specifically for an embroidered wallet. They might just be looking for a men's wallet. So let's say your uh, wallet is a Father's Day embroidered wallet. You can also put in a, throw in a tag in there that says men's wallet so that you can expand uh, your reach. Another way to expand your reach is um, instead of just saying embroidered wallet, maybe some people aren't thinking in terms like you are, they're not thinking embroidery specifically, they're just thinking of personalization. So you can also uh, put a tag like personalized wallet instead. The good news is that Etsy gives you 13 of these tags, so that's plenty uh, for you to play around with the more specific uh, tags and then uh, branch out into the more broad ones as well. You almost I took did. my light again. I soft myself though. Tip number five is to use your social media to promote your Etsy page. So basically what I mean by that is to just use your current network to drive page visits to your Etsy account. So while page visits don't automatically equate into paying customers, what it does do is that it shows you who is looking at certain products, like how many people are looking at certain products so that you can see what you should focus on. So this is where social media can not only get you sales and referrals with your current network, um, but it can also inform what you should be doing going forward with your Etsy account. Something else to keep in mind is that Etsy integrates really well with social media platforms. So when you share something on social media that's from Etsy, Etsy actually carries over important details like price so that your customers can see it directly on social media and determine whether they want to click and be a purchaser. So my last point that I want to make about using social media to your advantage is to actually uh, use Facebook groups uh, that are related to your industry. So for example, I have a Facebook group called Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. Um, and in there, there's thousands of apparel decorators sharing what works for them. So you can just go on there and ask, hey, what's working for you guys on Etsy? What do you normally sell on Etsy? And I guarantee you that you'll have tons of people answering your comments. Before we go, I wanted to ask you guys what's working for you on Etsy. If you have any other tips that I didn't mention below, I would love if you guys would just comment it so that the people watching the video can learn from you guys as well. So if you guys want more info on this topic, I've actually linked below a detailed blog on how you should be selling on Etsy, tips for success on the platform. And again, I already asked you guys to join the Facebook group, so I just wanted to remind you guys that I have also linked to that group below. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye. Um. One more time.